Linda, you are not a um, professional. You're, you're not in the, a professional in the healing professions, correct? That is correct. You're retired. You've got more of a technical background that has nothing to do with therapy, health, and so on. That is also correct. <laughs> okay. But you are learning optimal EFT at its more sophisticated levels, and you've had some experiences that we can share here. And it's particularly useful because you're not a person with a whole long list of credentials. You are just somebody learning about the unseen therapist and applying it. How'd I do? Perfect. All right. Okay. So we're talking about two, two cases. One of them was a very simple rash. And I'm going to summarize just for a minute. Uh, this was a, a personal trainer of yours. And she had a rash on her arm. Um, like she had scraped it. It, had, like, it was all red and the sunburn, something like that. And itchy and all of that. Yes. And well, d d describe what happened. Well, she had this rash. It had developed during the day. She's my personal trainer, and uh, I saw her was about five o'clock in the afternoon, and it was really annoying her. So I made a suggestion. I said, "Why don't I just try some optimal EFT on it?" And she was very open to that. She's a very spiritual type person, anyway. So I proceeded to uh, do a round on the rash. Uh, I didn't engage her in any of it as far as she just listened to me. I closed my eyes and... Yeah, you were doing it surrogately in that sense. You weren't engaging her. That is correct. And in this case, you were aiming at simply the symptom. Yes. Okay. Yes. That is no all. emotional causes for it or anything like that, because there may not have been any. She may, may have just scraped herself someplace. Who knows? Okay. But, yes, exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. So when... We uh, went through that. It was fairly cut and dry, asking the unseen therapist in and then uh, putting the rash to her to take care of. And, and of course, there's always a comment about love and forgiveness, usually, at the end, and that was that. And by the time I had finished, uh, and I asked her how she felt about that, she says, the itching's gone. Yeah. It was that quick. Uh -huh. Within five minutes, the rash was gone. Yes, as I recall that, uh, you were doing your training thing with her, and she happened to notice two minutes later, if I remember, that it was fading. Yes, yes, we and made then, a comment at that, yes. Yeah, and then five minutes later, it's gone. Completely. Yeah, okay, all right. I put that in the category of our impossible things not that it's impossible to cure a rash okay but standard man-made techniques medicine for example would put some kind of a salve on it or maybe i don't know, possibly a shot pills i don't know whatever and it wouldn't it wouldn't go away in five minutes i mean it would take hours maybe days maybe weeks i don't know okay uh, but this has gone in five minutes and that's the impossible part of it okay now Let's shift. Okay. There was another lady. This lady had a severe headache bordering on a migraine. She had to lay down all day. She had all day long. She had to lay down and, and so on. And in this case, you didn't do, you didn't help her surrogately. You did it together with her. Okay. Yes, I did. Talk about that some, could you? I had suggested, and of course, Pam had already told her about the rash thing, so she knew that I was doing some uh, energy healing. So I, I volunteered um, to see if it would help her with her headache. She was already laying down on the, uh, the massage table that Pam had in her office. So I said, let me just try it and see what happens. And so... Um, we both closed our eyes. I told her what I was about to do so that she'd follow in. And then I guided the unseen therapist. I first had told her to find a loving moment so that she could be more receptive. Um, brought in the unseen therapist, uh, talked about the, the headache and how she'd been laid up all day and went through the details of that. Um, 
and I can't remember exactly what I had her put it in. I normally have a box or something that you put the motions in. Mm -hmm. And I directed her to do that. Um, and then after doing that, we always bring in love and forgiveness. I normally, I change these around a little bit, but normally I'll have something, normally the energy coming in through her head and the crown of her head, uh, either in a golden light or hearts or something loving. And so I had her visualize that. Uh, we went through the first round and she felt some improvement. And so we did a second round with the same type of thing, maybe a little different wording, but basically the same philosophy, release, releasing stress. Um, might have even brought in the work part of it um, because she gets stressed out with work a lot. That's something she's got to learn how to deal with. But, and so with the second round, pretty much the same as the first, uh, by the time we're done, her headache was gone, completely gone. And if I recall our previous conversation, that took about 10 minutes. Yes, about okay. 10 minutes. One other thing I want to mention in there from our previous conversation and what you just said, and that is in this case, you weren't aiming so much, you were aiming at the symptom, yes, being there. Yes. Okay. But you're also aiming at causes. Now, why they were not our technical specific events. You were talking about work stress and causes of the headache, and you were right. in our previous conversation. You were you were bringing in forgiveness, I, I presume about whatever's going on in the work workplace. Yes, yes. Okay, so that is also aiming at cause, maybe not as efficiently as we'd like to see sometimes, but it was good enough here. Yes, it was because bingo. Okay, and then. Um, I mean, she would talk. She would talk about having these, a frequency of these headaches, um, fairly frequently. Uh, uh, yes. But you asked her sometime after this happened about it, and I think she said she had some minor experiences of headaches just after, but yes. for months, for months she had none. That is correct. That is okay. correct. So. That's a whole lot better than having them weekly or whatever the other frequency was. Yeah, it was on a regular basis. I know that. Yeah. Okay. In fact, she had forgotten really about it until I brought it up because they weren't bothering her. Yeah, that's an indication of really first class results when they don't even they don't even think about it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, let me see. I oh, I just want to point out. Headaches, including migraine headaches, typically are not really curable. I mean, I mean, especially the migraine headache version of it. We take medications and shots and whatever to help with the pain of the headache. But man-made techniques, at least as far as I know, don't get rid of them. They help you with the symptoms, but they end up coming back. This one hasn't come back. That's in the, that's in the, my personal category of impossible, meaning man-made stuff doesn't do that. Yes, I agree with you. <laughs>